In my this video, I will uh, discuss uh, some of the general issues and topics. Uh, this is not particular on any subject. On the internet, uh, uh, many young MD girls and boys, men and women, uh, they are participating in to discussions with the Muslims and uh, some other uh, uh, religions as well. Uh, if you look at on the different uh, discussion forums, uh, some of have been established by the Ahmadis and uh, some and most of uh, by the Muslims. Now. Jamaat, uh, uh, so far as I knew this thing, that the Jamaat has uh, this policy that uh, uh, Jamaat does not allow any individual to independently uh, respond to any other ones uh, um, on behalf of Jamaat unless and until Jamaat gives the permission to those and if Jamaat becomes aware that someone is uh, responding and someone have this kind of discussion forums and websites, Jamaat uh, orders them to close down and do not uh, involve <coughs> in these activities. Uh, the best example is this one that uh, there was a very good website ahmediya.com which Jamaat ordered and that young man from Canada have to close down it. But now I see, I, I think uh, that Jamaat has given the permission to the individuals uh, that yes they can respond, yes they can establish discussion forums and the websites. Now I am taking uh, those the young ones and all the other participants who are responding uh, uh, to anyone uh, that this is the official um, uh, Jamaat's uh, point of view and this is not individuals because there are two things one is this one that uh, they are involved in these activities and they give their uh, um, response same time they always uh, uh, read, they always uh, quote, they do not talk by themselves, they don't give their personal opinion, they always uh, read uh, the stuff. Now, if Jamaat uh, uh, wants to remain on this stand that no, this is uh, individuals, so Jamaat is, uh, it means Jamaat want to give this impression that Jamaat is not aware, okay? Jamaat is not aware of all these activities. Oh. Wow, it's, it's a, uh, completely, I can't uh, imagine this one. On the Orkut.com, you can find uh, many Ahmadis boys and girls are involved in the discussion, in the debates and arguments with the Muslims. And those are the ones when you look at their uh, response, if you look at their post, you will be surprised how scattered they are. This Jamaat used to call that is a very organized, there are the channels that uh, with their Itfalul Amdiya, their Khudamul Amdiya, Lajna, Nasrat, that how this Jamaat used to work, I, I know very well. But now I see that no young one have a clue where to go and from where to seek some sort of information, where to get the information, what to do, who to contact, nobody knows, believe me. The thing is, Jamaat has allowed, okay, go ahead, but the Jamaat did not guide them that how to face and how to respond and from where to get the information. Someone is looking, oh, uh, it would be great if I would have, uh, they have created, they have established their communities and they say, oh, what it would be nice if I would have help from some Murabi Saab. Meaning is that one, that if Jamaat have allowed this, the young ones, then Jamaat should guide them, then Jamaat should help them. Now, if these are not by the permission of Jamaat, 
so it means I can in other words then I have to take that dermatitis uh, losing the control on the young gametes I mean you put can put anyway but now look what I see I see this way that these young gametes and I'm very happy with this one that they are fed up with the Jamaat they are sick and tired from the Jamaat that they cannot find a suitable and satisfactory responses and answers from the Jamaat and they are out there and they want to know the reality and for those Ahmadis for those young ones I will say I really appreciate your effort but I don't want you to be lost I want you to please just stay on track you must do two things the one is this one that instead of uh, Jamaat's translation of Quran you must read Quran you must recite Quran you must check the translation which is not uh, translated by the Jamaat someone else this will give you an idea then you take the Jamaat translated Quran and do the comparison this one will give you very good idea that uh, where Jamaat stands don't make up your mind right the way telling the others are wrong Jamaat is right or Jamaat is wrong the other ones are right no don't do that just make the comparison study same time try to read as much as possible Mirza Saab's books and then on the net you can find there so many books so many children features that will help you and tell you there are the books of ahadith will, will tell you the reality the facts what jamaat is quoting and what is the original text in the hadith same time well if you guys want to contact me i am there i'm not saying write to you no that okay don't trust Jamaat no you are the member of Jamaat but you must do the comparison study don't trust and believe blindly no this is your life and you have not to follow Quran says very clearly that uh, you are not bound to follow the religion of your forefathers you are accountable for your own deeds now the thing is this doesn't matter what is your father doesn't matter what is your grandfather you should use your own brain you should use your own wisdom and study the Quran and look into that one then ask the question then make the argument then come on, on the net and say this is the confusion this is the question I have I want to know about this one that's the way to research and investigate but blindly saying yes my father my mother they are my ideals oh they cannot be wrong oh my father could be wrong oh my grandfather could be wrong Quran tells forget it about that one what they did they did for them don't follow them don't quote them they have done for themselves now you should do for yourself you are accountable for your own deeds this is the message of the Quran so MDA youth I will ask you in this I will make a request to you please study Quran recite Quran and take Jamaat's translation as well as translation from the Muslim scholars too and then you make the comparison do the comparison study and then you make a decision then if you feel that the Jamaat is right you should go with the Jamaat believe me because you are making your own opinion you, you are making your own decision and if you see the others and you feel a little bit uh, discomfort ask the questions come up with that one ask your question from your elders and all these things I will continue with this one and I hope uh, I give you the message and I will keep on mm, my this subject I will keep on talking on this subject thank you very much